Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple scripts for the newly released game Blade Ball. Now, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps and let's get right into it. To get started with the download, go ahead and click the download link in the description below which will take you to my website like this. From there, go ahead and click on the actual download button and that should open up with this page over here. Go ahead and complete the steps and it will take you to the final download destination. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. In my case, I'm going to choose my desktop and click save. From there, go ahead and go to your downloaded destination and you can go ahead and double click and open up the download manager. From there, go ahead and click on next. It might ask you to download some of these softwares. It is completely up to you if you wish to do that. If not, go ahead and click on decline. So once you complete that, it will give you the final download link. From there, you can go ahead and copy that, paste it in your browser and click enter and you can choose wherever you wish to download it. I've already got a copy of that, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. There we go. And once you've got your script downloaded, you can then go to your executor and of course execute the script. So let's go ahead and jump into Roblox and we'll get that started. All right, here we go. Just loaded into the actual game. I've gone ahead and executed all two of the scripts. I'm going to go ahead and execute the third script as well. So the first script essentially allows you to auto block, so it won't bring up any UI or anything. But as you can see, it does start teleporting you around and yeah it will automatically just block anything that is thrown at you um so that's the first script that will do that again it doesn't bring up any ui design or anything but as soon as you execute the script it will start working and as you can see the auto block is working pretty well and to disable that you need to actually rejoin the game so since it doesn't have a ui design you can't actually disable anything um, moving to the second script now it does come with a bunch of it does come with a lot of features so for example if we go into the fight firstly um you've got auto clicker you also got auto parry i don't know what exactly that does so let's go ahead and turn that on and you can also then turn on the deflect so that is again auto block if you are already using the first script then that isn't really necessary but we'll go ahead and turn that on anyway and this is the distance at which you can i believe deflect so i will set that to max and you can also spam it this is for close range only so that is automatically set to c and as you can see i have won the first game with how many kills did I get that game? I think I got three kills, or sorry, five kills in that game. I think I was at three kills beforehand. And as you can see, it does have some teleport options as well. Now with ability, it has thunder dash, super jump, shadow step, invisibility, and also dash. In the misc section, you can uh, enable unlimited abilities. So you will get unlimited abilities for all of these. In the second section for misc, you've got unlock FPS, hide name, low graphics mode, C ping and FPS, anti AFK, in a bunch of different um, menus right here you can also open the sword boxes instantly with this feature right here and you can of course enable the esp so you can see all of the players around you and where they are and as you can see this is just auto farming for me i'm not having to do anything at all a skin changer you can also change your skin with this menu and of course you can also teleport to other servers you can choose between full servers or low player servers and now moving on to the last script the third and final script if you do go to the main section, you've got the hit distance, so you can change the hit distance at which you want to be able to deflect. Now again, this is a feature available in all three scripts, so I would only recommend using this with one of the scripts. There's no point having all of these enabled. And if you do click this, it will start the auto hitting process. Moving down to the player list, you also have infinite jump and of course walk speed. So if I turn this to max, you can see I am walking really fast. And I have infinite jump, so if I do have that toggled on, as you can see, I can pretty much just jump infinitely. Sorry about that guys, I did have to rejoin the game because I accidentally minimized this script right here and it wasn't reopening for some reason. Let me go ahead and try again. This time, okay, it works perfectly fine. So for example, if it's set to right shift, it wasn't working for me. But there we go, so let's go back into this. So let's go ahead and enable that. Now going down to the player options, as you can see, you do have infinite jump and walk speed as well. And now going down to settings, you can change the theme of this firstly. So they've got some custom themes right here that you can pick from. They've also got transparency mode, which is pretty nice. So you can see the background if you'd like. Um, you can also change which key is to minimize it. So I've currently got it set to right bracket. And of course, if you do want to set configurations, you can do that over here. So you can set your settings and access them quicker. And that's pretty much it for the scripts, guys. You can pretty much leave them on in the background and they will start doing the farming for you. So for example, if I come over here and just turn these off, I can now just AFK and it will do all of the farming for me. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.